And, but they're produced in many places on the world. It's not so that it's unique. Iridium, on the other hand, is, is quite unique for extraterrestrial bodies. And that's what the Alvarezes first found. So could you explain a little bit of why Iridium is so special and why this Iridium spike is so commonly associated with impacts? It's uh, good to see. I mean, the, the Earth, let's put it simple, in the beginning started as a hot ball, mostly made of iron. And when it melted, the, 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 the group eight elements in the periodic system, which includes iron, chromium, and nickel, but also palladium, osmium, iridium, uh, uh, you have the whole rhenium, rhodium. Everything that's very, very Everything, dense. Everything, the group and very of eight, very inert. noble, yeah. it's very hard. I mean, they're all noble metals, like gold is the same. And they tend to be what we call siderophile. In the absence of oxygen, uh, they form an, uh, an alloy together with iron and nickel. So when the earth cooled, and uh, slowly or, or catastrophically, people don't know yet, the core of the earth formed, 99.99% of all the iridium and gold and whatever was concentrated in the core. And you can reach it. Even the deepest seated volcanics don't reach the core. So it cannot be brought up to the surface. Which means the average content of a meteorite is about 500 parts per billion. And the average content on the surface of the Earth is 0.01 parts per billion. So the differences are orders of magnitude. Yeah, so basically iridium anywhere on the Earth's surface is always associated with extraterrestrial. If it's, 